who are here in solidarity with Senator Matthew Rohide. For them, they believe that Rohide is a worthy son who has represented the people of Edosa Senatorial District more effectively than they ever imagined. Between 3 and 4 o'clock in the evening, the atmosphere at the Bini Airport this Friday was peaceful as the supporters of the APC stood at a distance from those of the PDP while chanting solidarity songs. However, the situation soon changed when the Edo State Commissioner of Police, Mr. John C. Kokumo, arrived at the airport. On sighting the police commissioner, the APC supporters left the position they were and clashed with the PDP supporters chanting songs that observers described as inciting, which also moved the PDP supporters to retaliate with solidarity song. The police commissioner was, however, forced to call for reinforcements as more policemen stormed the airport while both supporters were moved to far distance within the airport premises to avoid the breakdown of law and order. But there was, however, a twist when the aircraft conveying the senator representing Edo South Central District, Senator Matthew Rohide, and others touched down at the Bini Airport. While the senator was granting interview to clear the air on the said motion, the police allegedly went to sleep, allowing the APC supporters access to the senator to intimidate him, just as the PDP youth leader, after Tadios Irabo, received the beating of his life. <laughs> Senator was, however, whisked into the VIP lodge to avoid further embarrassment. Despite the unfriendly environment, Senator Matthew Rohide said he will not be intimidated by those he described as sponsored youths. <laughs> The last is yet to be heard of the matter as it was gathered that the senator was humiliated while the police commissioner watched helplessly. While the senator was still at the VIP lodge, a Do State Governor, Mr. Gordon Obasaki, met with the senator an indication that respite had come for Senator Matthew Rohide. However, the situation took a different twist as the governor accompanied the senator out of the lodge only for the APC supporters to further humiliate the senator and remove this cap just as they jubilated with the governor. <laughs> Why? The 
be the peace state youth leader Akite Tadio Sirabo, who narrated his ordeal, fingered some top government officials as the brains behind the attack on Senator Matthew Rohide. <laughs> It was gathered that some persons who sustained injury during the clash are currently receiving treatment at the hospital. Best Mbire reporting.